but we are on track to develop to deliver a more affordable model in the first half of next year. Elon Musk is at it again, and this time he's about to shake up the automotive world like never before. You know, people always want to know what our next product is. We are actually building a new product. We are actually designing a new product. Two new products that I think you will be very excited about. Imagine owning a sleek, high-tech Tesla for just $5,000, a price tag that seems too good to be true. Both the design of the products and the manufacturing techniques um, are head and shoulders above anything else that is present in industry. It's not just to, to, to achieve some superlative in cars, but to, to show what an electric car can do. Because nobody believed that an electric car could do this, that an electric car really can be the best car. But with Elon Musk, the impossible often becomes reality. That, 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 that was a pretty big deal. There was Twitter and, 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 and others engaged in active suppression of information that was relevant to the public. Don't miss the chance to experience groundbreaking technology at an unprecedented price. In a recent second quarter earnings report, Elon Musk revealed, but we are, in fact, developing to deliver a more affordable model in the first half of next year. Tesla will introduce six key products next year, including the Model 2, with a starting price point of 20 grand. That's a historic low for the company. On top of that, the Model 2 will feature ultra-fast charging, an automatic cleaning system, and voice control. How will the Model 2 Redwood promise to shake up the electric vehicle market? What info has Tesla shared with us about new models, their upcoming affordable model that's scheduled for release next year? All right, first up, we've got exciting news for Tesla's vehicle enthusiasts. They've confirmed that they'll launch new models, including more affordable ones, in 2025. The company told investors the plan for new vehicle production, including more affordable models, remains on track to start production in the first half of next year. They also explained these new vehicles will leverage aspects of both the next generation platform and our current platform and will be produced on the same production lines as our current lineup. Elon further noted that discounts and increased competition were the main reasons for the big drop in earnings in the second quarter. This confirmation is significant for the EV industry as the leading company is poised to offer competitive options priced under 30 grand and potentially introduce several new types of vehicles. Previously mentioned earlier in the year, Tesla indicated that it would experience significantly lower growth rates for 2024 due to a focus on the next-gen platform, and that includes RoboTaxi. The company maintains that new vehicles and new platforms will be key to sustaining growth as confirmed in the second quarter. Shareholder report released before the second quarter earnings call. The push for increased production will help scale the automotive business further and also drive more growth. From an investor's point of view, Tesla's hinted at producing more affordable EVs for quite a while. But the exact price has been kept secret. $25,000 has been widely speculated within the Tesla community, potentially undercutting names like Chevy Bolt EV and EUV which have been the most affordable electric vehicles in the U.S. market for quite some time. Tesla will produce several new vehicles on this next-generation platform, but the company also mentioned potential for other necessary types of vehicles, such as a truck previously discussed. However, Musk did not share many details about the new vehicle during the earnings call. We don't want to delve into the product roadmap here as that is reserved for product announcement events. But in practice, we will be delivering a more affordable vehicle in the first half of next year, he said. So, what new features do you think Model 2 needs to stand out when it launches next year? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. What are some of the important changes in the Tesla Model 2 Redwood 2025 with the three new updates? We'll reveal three features that are set to be included in the Tesla Model 2. One of the most exciting updates for the Model 2 Redwood is the introduction of cutting-edge battery technology, promising higher energy density and lower costs. In this context, Saku stands out as a particularly interesting player. You might wonder, who is Saku? Saku is an innovative company in the battery technology sector, known for developing advanced solutions that challenge traditional norms in battery manufacturing. One of their flagship products replaces conventional metals like copper and aluminum with polymers and battery cells. 
This change not only reduces weight and production costs, but also enhances safety and recyclability. Additionally, Saku employs dry printing technology for battery production, eliminating the need for liquid or adhesive materials in the process. This helps minimize material waste and improves quality control from the early stages of manufacturing. These advancements make Saku's batteries a promising choice for electric vehicle manufacturers seeking sustainability, efficiency, and high performance. By replacing traditional metals with polymers, the batteries become lighter, production costs go down, and recyclability goes up. Saku's dry printing technology also cuts material waste and enhances quality control right from the get-go. Furthermore, Saku's batteries offer major improvements in safety and performance. Unlike traditional batteries that use conductive metals, which increase the risk of rapid discharge, Saku batteries utilize a polymer with lower conductivity, and that reduces the risk and enhances safety. These batteries are also more stackable, saving space and improving efficiency. Now let's take a closer look at Cattle's L-Series battery line, one of the world's leading battery manufacturers. The L-Series is a prime example, launched with two different versions, each meeting distinct consumer needs. Many are familiar with the first version, which focuses on ultra-fast charging, reaching 60% capacity in only 12 minutes. This is an impressive achievement, particularly considering that charging time is one of the main barriers to widespread EV adoption. Imagine stopping at a charging station, enjoying a cup of coffee, and when you come back, your car is almost ready to roll. Fast charging not only enhances user experience, but it also increases the feasibility of electric vehicles for long trips and daily use. The second version of the L-Series product line is designed for long-distance travel, supporting a range of up to 500 km on just one charge. This extended range is crucial for alleviating range anxiety, and that's a common issue for a lot of potential EV buyers. With this capability, long-distance driving becomes easier and users feel more confident making the switch to EVs. You can embark on long trips without constantly having to worry about recharging. This also makes electric vehicles more competitive than conventional cars, which can travel long distances without the need to frequently stop and gas up. The battery technology is not just theoretical or a prototype. It's been selected for 21 different models from 13 automakers, demonstrating industry confidence in its capabilities. It's quite likely that Model 2 Redwood could be among these models, as Tesla frequently adopts advanced technology and has strategic partnerships with CATL. We believe integrating these battery technologies into the Model 2 Redwood will be a significant leap for Tesla. Do you think so? The ability to offer both ultra-fast charging and long range in an affordable vehicle like the $25,000 Model 2 could be a game-changer in the EV market. This will not only attract more consumers to the Tesla brand, but also raise the industry standards for EVs. Other automakers will be pressured to innovate and improve their products, benefiting all electric vehicle customers. CITL's battery alliances are known for their durability and safety. The company has invested heavily in research and development to ensure their batteries not only deliver high performance, but are also safe and sustainable. They employ various technologies to prevent overheating and other issues that can arise with high-capacity batteries. This is particularly important for consumer safety and the longevity of electric vehicles, and that's also a focus for Tesla. Now, moving on to the second feature expected to be implemented in the Model 2, can you guess what that might be? Another notable point is Tesla's 2024-2026 software update which is one of the standout features of Model 2 Redwood. This update is currently being rolled out to Tesla employees, but will soon be available to the entire fleet, including the new Model 2 Redwood next year. This comprehensive update includes software features like YouTube Music, Amazon Music, and significantly enhances the in-car entertainment experience. Imagine going on a long trip and having access to your favorite playlist from YouTube Music or Amazon Music stream directly on your car screen. This transforms the driving experience, makes it more enjoyable, and you feel more connected. 
The 2024-2026 update introduces important features designed to help parents protect their kids. These control features are crucial for ensuring safety and providing peace of mind for moms and dads. With this new update, parents can set a PIN to activate vehicle restrictions, including maximum speed limits and smooth acceleration modes, similar to a cooling mode. This ensures that children or inexperienced drivers can drive more safely. On top of that, safety features such as speed limit warnings, automatic emergency braking, and forward collision alerts are activated, providing an extra layer of protection. Parents can also set a nighttime curfew, and if the vehicle is used outside those established hours, they get a notification on the Tesla mobile app. This is an excellent tool for monitoring vehicle use and ensures that the car is not used inappropriately or at unsuitable times. In my opinion, this is a breakthrough for families, offering a level of control and safety that very few other brands can match. Another cool aspect of this software update is the addition of weather and air quality forecasts. The vehicle status bar now displays local weather conditions and temperatures. In areas with poor air quality, the AQI index and its value will also be shown. By tapping on the temperature on the touchscreen, drivers can view detailed weather forecasts, including current conditions, daily highs and lows, and the chance of rain. This feature requires a premium connectivity subscription, but gives you valuable information for planning trips, ensuring a safe and comfortable driving environment. The 2024-2026 update also introduces scheduled charging and preconditioning functions. Users can schedule charging and preconditioning of the vehicle through a redesigned menu or Tesla's mobile app. This allows drivers to choose the location and set recurring or one-time events, controlling when the charging process starts and ends. This function is particularly useful for optimizing energy costs and ensuring the vehicle is always ready to use with a comfortable interior temperature. Of course, Tesla's not stopping there. The update also brings a range of additional improvements to enhance the overall driving experience and convenience for Tesla owners. Each small addition and adjustment contributes to making Model 2 Redwood's experience not only technologically advanced, but also quite intuitive and enjoyable. I find all these innovations very creative. And personally, I hope Model 2's Redwood features all these enhancements. In my point of view, Tesla's innovations show how software can be a crucial part of the driving experience. Other automakers out there are still trying to achieve the flexibility and responsiveness of Tesla vehicles, which not only improve over time, but also continuously adapt to new demands and emerging technologies. Finally, with the third upgrade, one of the most surprising innovations is the automatic interior sanitation system. Do you appreciate this update? I know I do. Recently, Tesla applied for a patent for this system intended for its autonomous taxi fleet, and it's likely that the Model 2 Redwood will benefit from this advanced technology. The patent describes an automated system that controls the internal environment of the vehicle, creating a cleaning protocol based on this data and executing it through various means such as the HVAC system, UV lights, and steam generators. This innovation not only reduces the need for frequent manual cleaning, but also provides peace of mind regarding health and safety, especially in this post-pandemic world. Imagine stepping into a self-cleaning car after each time you use it, giving us a safe and hygienic environment without the need for human intervention. The advanced sensor system of Model 2 Redwood is capable of detecting bacteria and other contaminants inside the vehicle. When harmful particles are detected, the system automatically activates various cleaning modes, from UV light to steam sterilization, that eliminate dirt and bacteria. Integrated with the HVAC system, the air inside the vehicle is continuously filtered and cleaned, removing allergens and pollutants. You'll find Tesla's self-cleaning system truly sets Model 2's Redwood apart from the competition. Currently, no other major automaker has implemented a comprehensive self-cleaning technology quite like this. While some car manufacturers have introduced features to improve cleanliness and hygiene, Tesla's approach is far more comprehensive and innovative, providing a higher level of cleanliness and health safety 
in the automotive industry. We truly feel that this technology not only represents a significant advancement in terms of convenience and safety, but also has the potential to become the industry standard in automotive. In addition to providing a safer environment for passengers, Tesla's automatic sanitation system also contributes to sustainability by avoiding the use of harmful chemicals and minimizing water consumption, thereby reducing environmental impacts. Another cool aspect of the patent is the system's ability to customize its cleaning methods based on external factors like weather and vehicle usage frequency. For example, on sunny days, the system can utilize sunlight to assist with sterilization by adjusting the seats and steering wheel to maximize exposure to light. Conversely, in damp conditions, the system may choose a dry cleaning method to prevent mold growth. The patent also mentions that the system can work in conjunction with external service robots to perform detailed cleaning both inside and outside the vehicle, including cleaning the windows and wheels. This automation and vehicle maintenance is a promising initiative, offering significant convenience for users. The automatic sanitation system not only saves owners time and effort in cleaning their vehicles, but also ensures that the car remains clean and ready for use without the need for frequent car wash appointments or cleaning services. Tesla's implementation of this technology will further distinguish the company in the market. This is not just about innovation, but also about understanding and anticipating the needs of modern consumers. What do you think about these features? Especially for those who value both convenience and safety, this automatic sanitation system could be a major selling point particularly in an increasingly competitive market where all these little details can make all the difference. When you don't have to worry about cleaning your car and always step into a clean and sterile vehicle, that's certainly going to be an awesome experience. Frankly, I find washing the car after each trip quite cumbersome, and I often just pay someone else to do it. What are your thoughts on this automatic sanitation technology? Are you as stoked as we are to see it integrated into the Model 2 Redwood? While this video focuses on the tech upgrades, we cannot overlook the fact that Model 2 Redwood promises to be a well-designed and comfortable vehicle, ideal for both daily use and long road trips. Tesla has always stood out for its attention to design details, and Model 2 Redwood is no exception. The design of the Model 2 Redwood will follow a clean and aerodynamic trend, with smooth curves and an elegant shape. This not only improves energy efficiency by reducing air resistance, but also gives the vehicle a futuristic and sophisticated appearance. The interior of Model 2 Redwood promises to be a space that combines comfort and technology, with high-quality materials and refined finishes providing a luxurious driving experience. However, I'll be leaving a more detailed discussion of the interior in another video, so make sure to watch out for that. The combination of innovative design, advanced technology, and affordability makes Model 2 Redwood a significant milestone for Tesla and the electric vehicle market. Tesla is clearly positioned to redefine what it means to own a cutting-edge electric vehicle that's accessible to more people. Model 2. Redwood is not just a car. It's a statement that sustainable transportation can be both comfortable and stylish, while also being affordable. In terms of performance, Model 2 Redwood is expected to uphold Tesla's tradition of providing an engaging and responsive driving experience. Even as a more affordable model, it should not compromise on power or agility. The combination of an efficient electric motor with Tesla's new battery technology, such as a battery that can provide a range of up to 250 miles and go from 0 to 62 mph in under 6 seconds, ensures that the car is going to be a lot of fun to drive. Introducing Model 2. Redwood is a significant step for Tesla as it allows the company to reach a broader and more diverse market, bringing the electric vehicle revolution into the mainstream. With an expected price point of around $25,000, the Model 2 Redwood will not only compete with low-cost electric vehicles, but also with many traditional cars in the same segment. This makes Model 2 Redwood a vehicle capable of winning consumers' hearts with its innovative design, comfort, and a range of advanced technologies. It's fascinating to think about the potential that the Model 2 Redwood brings and how it could shape the automotive market in the coming years. From a personal perspective, I believe that the introduction of new types of batteries 
could be a turning point for Tesla. The choice of battery is crucial as it not only reduces production costs by up to 20%, but also increases energy efficiency, making EVs more accessible and popular. Additionally, these batteries enhance safety with better fire resistance compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. This is a positive development not just for Tesla, but for the entire automotive industry. Moreover, the new software updates for parents will be a big plus for many families. Tesla has always prioritized safety, and these improvements demonstrate the company's commitment to ensuring that its vehicles are not only safe, but user-friendly for everyone in the family. In summary, Tesla's Model 2 Redwood seems to be one of the most impressive innovations in the automotive industry these days. With a range of new features and improvements, it's no surprise to predict that it'll be a major success when it hits the streets. What are your thoughts on the updates for the Redwood model? How do you think these new features will impact the future of EVs? Elon Musk surprised his former Twitter followers with an unexpected revelation about a major shift in Tesla's direction. After years of doubt, Musk announced a significant change for Tesla in 2024. Instead of continuing with batteries, the company is set to transition to hydrogen power. This surprising decision gained even more attention when Musk revealed that the first vehicle using this new fuel source would be named the Model H. Interestingly, Musk had previously criticized hydrogen fuel cells as faux cells and considered the technology to be remarkably foolish. However, the recent complete reversal is now attributed to challenges faced in the mass production of Tesla's 4680 battery. This hurdle prompted the company to reassess its strategy and opt for hydrogen power as an alternative solution. Tesla, a global leader in electric vehicles since its establishment in 2003, has been led by Elon Musk, who is dedicated to improving average living standards through cutting-edge technology with a focus on environmental sustainability. Musk has propelled Tesla to the forefront of the renewable energy and transportation revolution. Through various eco-friendly projects and advocacy efforts, Musk aims to change the way people perceive energy, fuel, and climate change. As the world increasingly embraces cleaner energy solutions to combat climate change, electric vehicles with Tesla at the forefront are gaining popularity. Tesla has recently announced plans to introduce a new energy source, hydrogen fuel cells. This development raises the question, what are hydrogen fuel cells and how will they transform our driving experience? Vehicles, often famous for contributing quite to climate change through fuel combustion, have witnessed a transformative alternative in electric cars. Tesla, Musk's multi-billion dollar automotive giant, produces half a million electric vehicles annually, playing a substantial role in the growing societal acceptance of electric cars. Electric cars, such as those crafted by Tesla, primarily rely on batteries to power their engines. These batteries, similar to those found in laptops but on a larger scale, store electricity acquired from the grid or charging stations. However, challenges such as prolonged charging durations Concerns about driving range and the associated high costs have discouraged potential buyers. In response to these issues, hydrogen fuel cells have occurred as a promising alternative, addressing many of these drawbacks. Contrary to Elon Musk's earlier doubt about hydrogen technology, fuel cells have garnered attention within the automotive industry. But what exactly is a hydrogen fuel cell and how does it function within a vehicle's framework? Positioned strategically among a vehicle's components, the fuel cell unites with a battery, electric engine, and hydrogen tank to generate energy. Multiple fuel cells work together through a process known as reverse electrolysis, wherein hydrogen reacts with oxygen to produce electrical energy. Unlike formal electric vehicle batteries, fuel cell batteries are smaller as they are always charged by the fuel cell. This ensures a continuous and sufficient supply of electricity. The byproduct of this process is water vapor emitted harmlessly into the air. The quality of hydrogen used influences whether the byproducts contribute to climate change. Renewable energy sources are capable of producing hydrogen with a neutral carbon footprint. Despite public awareness, scientists believe that hydrogen fuel cell technology 
holds promise and will gain traction in the coming years. Beyond the environmental advantages, fuel cell electric vehicles offer distinct benefits in the driving experience. One outstanding difference is the silence of electric vehicles, devoid of the mechanical sounds associated with traditional cars. Electric vehicles provide a very quiet ride. Hydrogen fuel cars take this a step further, standing out even among their electric counterparts due to their swift refueling times. The time it takes to charge is a crucial factor differentiating battery electric cars from hydrogen fuel cell cars. While fully charging battery electric cars may consume several hours, hydrogen fuel cars are ready to hit the road almost instantly, provided their hydrogen tanks are filled. This, combined with the considerable energy output of a hydrogen tank, grants fuel cell cars a more extensive range compared to their electric counterparts. In 2024, the pioneering Model H will showcase this innovation, featuring cutting-edge technology and an impressive acceleration from 0 to 60 mph in just 1.2 seconds, boasting a range of 450 kilometers. Despite the current higher cost of hydrogen fuel cars due to their rarity and limited availability of hydrogen stations, industry experts foresee a change in the next decade. As the urgency to address climate change grows, more automotive companies are embracing cleaner technologies. Models 2 and Z are slated for release in 2025 and 2027 respectively and are expected to be supercars, marking Tesla's groundbreaking shift toward hydrogen fuel cells. Elon Musk, known for his controversial opinions, has been a vocal analyst of hydrogen as a vehicle fuel source. However, in the evolving landscape of electric vehicles, there is a deviation of opinions on the ability of hydrogen fuel cells versus traditional batteries. While Musk strongly opposes hydrogen, major industry players like Toyota and Hyundai, along with smaller manufacturers like Riversimple, are actively involved in developing hydrogen-powered cars. This variety of opinions extends beyond manufacturing, with figures like Herbert Diess, CEO of Volkswagen Group, expressing concerns about the viability of hydrogen in the automotive sector. Diess argues that green hydrogen, produced using renewable energy sources, is better suited for heavy industries like steel and chemicals, citing reasons such as its costliness, inefficiency, slowness and logistical challenges, advising against its application in automobiles. Elon Musk's viewpoints on hydrogen, as expressed in various instances, were notably highlighted in a series of tweets around mid-2020. In these messages, Musk boldly equated fuel cells to a mathematical equal sign for cells, adamantly asserting that the concept of hydrogen fuel cells didn't make practical sense. Despite the clarity of these statements, Musk has not signalled any reversal in his stance on hydrogen when approached by CNBC through Tesla. The foundation of Musk's doubt toward hydrogen is rooted in the basic differences between traditional battery electric vehicles and those propelled by hydrogen fuel cells. According to the US Environmental Protection Agency, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, also referred to as fuel cell electric vehicles, share similarities with electric vehicles in utilizing an electric motor for propulsion instead of an internal combustion engine. However, the pivotal difference lies in how these vehicles generate electricity. Unlike electric vehicles, which rely on external power sources for charging, fuel cell vehicles employ hydrogen gas to generate electricity on board. This process involves the mixing of hydrogen gas from a tank with oxygen, resulting in the production of electricity. The variety of opinions within the automotive sector mirrors the broader debate surrounding the future of transportation and the role of hydrogen in it. In June, the BMW Group announced the commencement of tests for vehicles featuring a hydrogen fuel cell drivetrain, emphasizing its potential to complement internal combustion engines, plug-in hybrid systems, and battery electric vehicles. Despite the growing interest in hydrogen, particularly in the context of fuel cell electric vehicles, it's crucial to acknowledge that these technologies have not yet achieved authority in the market. Companies like Riversimple are actively engaged in the development of hydrogen-powered cars, offering them on a subscription basis. However, 
these vehicles currently comprise a minor portion of overall car sales. Toyota, a loyal supporter of hydrogen technology, considers its applications to extend beyond automobiles to diverse settings, including heating, lighting, huge mass transit and heavy industry. The Fuel Cell and Hydrogen Energy Association fervently supports this idea, emphasising the zero emission benefits, long-range capabilities, quick fueling and scalability of fuel cell electric vehicles and hydrogen energy in the pursuit of low and zero emission transportation. The discussion expands beyond just regular cars to include larger modes of transportation like trucks, buses, trains and planes, all of which are increasingly being considered for use with hydrogen fuel cells. Martin D, the CEO of Daimler Trucks, emphasises a well-rounded approach, recognising the suitability of different technologies for specific situations. While electric vehicles with batteries perform admirably in city deliveries with lower energy needs, long-distance transportation scenarios might find practicality in using hydrogen fuel cells. The adaptability of hydrogen fuel cells isn't limited to automobiles alone. The European transportation company, Olom, has introduced the Cadia iLint, praised as the world's first passenger train powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. In aviation, Plans for commercial hydrogen electric flights have been unveiled, with aspirations to take to the skies in 2024. Even the construction industry, represented by major players like JCB, has embraced hydrogen fuel cell technology, developing a 20-ton excavator powered by this clean energy source. Despite the excitement surrounding the possible applications of hydrogen fuel cells, there are significant challenges on the path to widespread adoption. Honda's recent decision to postpone production of its Clarity plug-in hybrid and fuel cell models underscores hurdles related to durability, reliability and vehicle cost. The US government has identified infrastructure limitations as a substantial obstacle, expressing concerns about the current shortage of the infrastructure to support the widespread adoption of fuel cell vehicles. Adding to the complexity, the competitive landscape poses challenges to the trajectory of hydrogen in the transportation sector. Green hydrogen, produced using renewable sources, not only contends with traditional fossil fuel-based hydrogen, but also competes with other conventional fuels such as petrol, diesel and electricity. The journey towards mass adoption of hydrogen fuel cell technology in transportation, while promising, faces these significant hurdles. The challenges highlighted in the Global EV Outlook 2021 by the International Energy Agency draw attention to a significant difference in registrations between fuel cell electric vehicles and conventional electric vehicles. This difference is closely tied to the limited availability of hydrogen refueling stations. Engaging in discussions on X, formerly known as Twitter, numerous individuals have come together to express their sentiments regarding this revelation. Some participants have raised concerns about Elon Musk, who had staunchly dismissed the concept of hydrogen-fueled vehicles for an extended period. He is actively championing this shift, leading to understandable doubt among critics who question Musk's contradictory attitude. The doubt persists until more information is provided, prompting discussions on Musk's potential ventures. Ammonia engines have entered the discourse, prompting questions about when people will deem Musk's pursuits to be sufficient. Exploring the unique properties of ammonia, a hydrogen compound boasting higher energy density compared to hydrogen gas, enthusiasts suggest that an ammonia engine could potentially surpass traditional combustion engines in the range. Moreover, it offers an environmentally sustainable alternative to gasoline or diesel, as ammonia can be produced sustainably from renewable sources. However, analysts cast doubt on the future dominance of ammonia, citing challenges such as the lack of infrastructure for ammonia, refueling, safety concerns, potential accidents, and the energy-intensive production process. The viability of ammonia remains uncertain, and the success of this venture is still up for debate, especially considering its early stages of discussion and development. In the ongoing race to shape the low and zero emission future of 21st century transportation, battery electric vehicles currently lead the way. 
However, the journey to success is far from a straightforward path, filled with obstacles and uncertainties. Elon Musk's recent video explores the intense competition between Apple and Tesla, likening it to the clash of giants, reminiscent of the rivalry between Google and Apple. Google has indeed showcased the potential of autonomous transport impressively. However, it's crucial to note that Google isn't a car company. Instead, they may choose to license their technology to other automotive companies. Elon Musk points out the collaboration between Google and Fiat, emphasizing that Google isn't a direct competitor in the automotive sector. Shifting the focus to Apple, Elon Musk believes that Apple could have entered the autonomous transport project earlier. Expressing a bit of hindsight, he suggests that an earlier initiation of the project could have been favorable for both Tesla and the industry as a whole. Musk believes in Apple's production plans, indicating that significant volume production might not happen before 2020 at the earliest. Elon Musk observes hiring patterns and other indicators to acknowledge his point about the timing of Apple's entry into the autonomous vehicle space. Despite some reservations about the timeline, Musk applauds Apple's decision to venture into this territory and expresses positiveness that the project will succeed, even in the face of inevitable challenges. Elon Musk radiates positivity as he expresses his confidence in ongoing developments, anticipating their success. Emphasizing the vastness of the automotive industry, he notes that it's not limited to just one company, but involves numerous significant players worldwide, approximately a dozen major car companies. Elon highlights the significance of a 10% market share, considering it a noteworthy benchmark for most car companies. He points out that Tesla, under his leadership, has achieved this level of market presence. Drawing attention to the company's diverse capabilities, he likens Tesla to an empire, illustrating how each of its components could be considered a Fortune 500 company on its own. For instance, he singles out the supercharging network, suggesting that if treated as a separate entity, it would be a Fortune 500 company. Elon elaborates on Tesla's unique journey across various industries, considering each of its standalone components as a difficult entity. The company's focus on crafting top-tier products is underscored, with Elon proudly stating that Tesla has reached its current standing without any advertising. Shifting gears to Tesla's environmental impact, Elon notes that the company sells twice as many electric vehicles in the United States as all other electric car manufacturers combined. In a bold assertion, he claims that Tesla has contributed more to environmental causes than all other companies combined. Elon, positioning himself as a leader committed to product excellence, boldly declares that he may have done more for the environment than any other individual on Earth. This claim is verified by Tesla's double sales figures in the competitive US electric vehicle market. Elon Musk envisions a manufacturing revolution through Tesla, with products that promise groundbreaking innovations set to leave a lasting impact on the industry. The structural design and manufacturing prowess of Tesla, as highlighted by Elon Musk, position the company at the forefront of innovation in the automotive sector. Elon emphasizes a moral responsibility to guide challenging quarters, showcasing strength and unwavering commitment to long-term success. Drawing parallels with SpaceX, Elon asserts a firm commitment to fair competition, underscoring the absence of patent and anti-competitive practices in the company's ethos. Despite facing challenges, Tesla actively engages in the industry landscape. Elon Musk recalls an incident where the company, despite making more electric cars than its counterparts combined, was excluded from an electric vehicle summit at the White House during the first six months of a new administration. This exclusion, without any evident inspiration, raised questions about fair representation. The situation worsened when President Biden publicly credited GM with leading the electric car revolution, a statement made in the same quarter when Tesla produced a substantial 300,000 electric cars compared to GM's 26. Elon Musk, in expressing his perspective, 
acknowledges the regulatory role of NHTSA's Enforcement Division in the US. He holds a favourable view of their sensibility in understanding the truth of accidents and recognising the inherent risks in the automotive industry. While there have been occasional disagreements, such as the insistence on coming to a complete stop at stop signs, even when conditions permit otherwise, Elon Musk acknowledges the sensible approach of NHTSA in considering safety statistics. Despite these challenges, Tesla remains committed to pushing the boundaries of innovation and safety in the automotive sector. It might be a bit premature to make a definitive statement, but he strongly believes that the future is leaning towards electric vehicles. Companies that fail to make substantial investments in electric vehicles are essentially sealing their fate, similar to what happened to horse and buggy manufacturers in the 1920s. Back then, some companies were stubbornly sticking to horse carriages while others embraced the automobile revolution. Imagine being the manufacturer of horse-drawn carriages in an era dominated by cars. It's similar to insisting on following outdated rules when everyone else has moved on. An interesting historical note is that some companies clung to the belief that they must stop at every stop street, even though hardly anyone followed that rule. This created a problem for us, as they had to select rare instances where humans stopped at stop signs and then train our team and cars to replicate this behaviour. It was a challenge, but ultimately, we made our cars stop at stop signs, despite it being a bit irritating. Addressing the perception that he is a rebellious rule breaker, the truth is that the company and him adhere to the countless legalities they're bound by. There have been a few laws they've disagreed with over the years, but the overwhelming majority, around 99%, are followed and respected. The media sometimes portrays him as an individualist, but the reality is that they take legal matters seriously. He didn't delve too deeply into it during the presentation because explaining its greatness is a bit challenging. However, when we experience driving it, the brilliance becomes instantly evident. The concept of steer by wire may not have received much attention, but it essentially means that the steering yoke is handled uniquely and innovatively. The connection between the steering control and the wheels in old-fashioned modern jet airliners is not mechanical. In these aircraft, the steering control, known as the steering yoke, functions as a command input to a computer system rather than being directly linked to the physical movement of the wheels. This design allows for a more sophisticated and adaptable control mechanism. In simpler terms, imagine the steering yoke as a remote control for the computer that guides the airplane. Just like adjusting the volume on a speaker, the Cybertru's steering yoke allows the pilot to modify the sensitivity or responsiveness of the steering, referred to as gain. This means that, depending on the driving speed, the steering yoke can be tuned to amplify or diminish the effect of its movements on the airplane's wheels. For instance, in low-speed scenarios like navigating a parking lot, a slight turn of the steering yoke can lead to a significant change in the wheel's direction, facilitating tight procedures such as U-turns with minimal effort. Conversely, during high-speed travel on a highway, the steering yoke can be adjusted to ensure that even a small movement results in a proportionally minor adjustment in the wheel's position. In essence, this technology dynamically adjusts the wheel movement based on the speed of the aircraft and the driver's intentions, offering a more automatic and efficient driving experience. What are your expectations for the future of transportation in a world powered by water engines? Let us have your opinions in the comments below.